Hi everyone. This is the second in a series of videos that I want to do on some of the vector GIS operations that you can do in R. And this one's pretty simple. It's just uh, points to polygons. So you want to maybe count the number of points in a polygon or you want to aggregate some value into polygons from point data using some sort of spatial overlay. And much of the code here is really just setting up the problem where I want to create a layer of points and polygons. And I've projected them both into the same coordinate reference system and I'm basically ready to overlay these things. Now the key operation here, which is which we access through installing the same um, RGOS and specifically the SP package. So once we've installed these packages, we have everything ready to go the way I've done it here. I actually didn't show you the installation of the libraries, but you need RGD, RGDAL installed for the projection and these other packages, RGOS and SP to do the other operations. I think actually only SP in this case, but at any rate. Oh, and also the creation of these this polygon layer requires the installation of another package. I just wanted to create a, a Voronoi tessellation or T some polygons from the from the points to create a random polygon layer. So that's all that this is. So you need this package installed, Dismo, RGDAL, maybe well definitely SP. You may also need GRGOS as well. But if yeah, if you install all four of those, you'll be fine. But at any rate. The, the, this step here, this over, is the key one. This is the spatial overlay. And what I'm doing here is I'm calling this function, and the first argument is going to be basically the destination layer, which is a polygon layer in this case. Points is going to be the source data that are being queried effectively. This indicates that we want to return, we don't want to return a list, so we'll be returning a vector in this case. And this is the function I want to apply to the data. And, and so for, for some of the data, I want to repl uh, return the mean value for the points within the polygon. So, so let's say that there's a five points. I'm going to take the average of some attribute associated with those points and assign that to the polygon. And then this function here is just counting up the uh, counting up the data. It's actually counting up the values, one of which I've set to a, um, a value of one. So it's giving me a count of the actual. You can see it right here. I've created a variable in the point spatial polygons data frame that has a value of one. And if I just sum that up, it'll tell me the number of points inside the polygon. So that's what this function here is doing. So this part here is I'm just basically calling the columns. So in the first column, it's going to be, be the mean value. And in the second column, it's going to be the count of points. And I, I just assign them to the spatial polygon data frame this way. So I'm doing this overlay. I'm pulling a column out. The first column in this case is the mean of the values in the spatial points data frame. And this column two is the count, the sum of the number of those points in the spatial polygons data frame, the spatial points data frame rather. And then we put it inside the spatial polygons data frame, like here, this way. So now the work's basically been done. There's not much else to it. Once I've done this, I can visualize it you can see here, I visualized it. The These large numbers here are the counts of polygons. So it's a bit of a verification exercise. This The counts of points within each polygon. So we can see that this number corresponds to the number of points in it. The number of points fall outside the polygon layer just because of the way I generated them. And that's the result we get. We get some points inside the polygon layer, some, some out and we get a count of these things. And if I wanted to, I could also take the values, that average value, and I could plot that out as well. And there's all sorts of other things we can do. So we can do point and polygon pretty easily in R. And I just want to point out, I did some tests to see how fast it would work. And when I ran this on a desktop, so it has Windows 10 installed, it's an i7 processor, and 32 gigabytes of RAM, it just took, it took about two minutes to process five uh, million points in 5,000 polygons, which I would consider a fairly large operation. So to get it done in two minutes without any issues at all, because I have a fair, fairly large quantity of RAM, it doesn't spill over into virtual memory or anything like that. And so it worked fairly well. The polygons I was using are fairly simple polygons, but, but um, and that could be a bit of an issue, but I suspect it's not. I think the fact is that this is a pretty good, if you have a reasonably 
large quantity of RAM and a reasonably fast computer, you can do some pretty serious point and polygon work. And, and I might say better than some desktop GIS will do for sure, much faster and more stably because it's all, if you've got a lot of RAM, then it's going to manage the, the computing much better in R because you're never going to use any virtual memory. It's never going to spill over onto your disk. It's going to be nice and memory intensive and if you've got the RAM to support it. So I found this to be, it worked really slick. It was really quick. I, the output was great, mapped without any difficulty too. So it worked quite well. So that's it. That's the second in my series of videos. This one's pretty short and straightforward. And I'll invite you to watch the first video if you've not already watched it. It's basically polygon to polygon, which is a little bit more involved because you have to do some intersecting and to make sure you're getting the values the way you want them. And uh, hopefully that's useful. All right. Bye.